So today, as a World Minute Ambassador, it's all about giving opportunities to those that are willing to take action. So what I'm trying to do is spread my message of good health and well-being up and down the UK, especially to kids, because as a kid I was overweight. So basically what I'm trying to do is get kids involved in my 21 day challenge. It's showing that 21 days, if you keep up something consecutively, it then becomes a habit. So basically I'm just trying to get the kids to incorporate a good habit or take away one unhealthy habit for 21 days and hopefully it leads on to them living a healthier, happier lifestyle. The fact that I went on Love Island, I think that people have a certain perception of you. I think maybe they think stereotypically you maybe have the six pack and you have the confidence and I'm basically here to tell you guys, look, it wasn't always like that. When I was younger, I had so many insecurities. I was overweight and I was willing to make changes in my life when I was younger that has now impacted me in such a dramatic way when I'm older. Now, I'm not saying to the kids, look, you have to go on Love Island or you have to look a certain way. What I'm saying to them is, if you start living a healthier lifestyle, you'll start to feel better. And when you start to feel better, anything in your life's possible. I would say it's all about the mental fitness because when you are mentally fit, I believe everything else follows through. And through exercise, you start to feel better as well. So it's just a kind of nice cycle. And I'm just trying to get that message to the kids. And my goal before Love Island was always to help change one kid's life. I feel now after Love Island I can help maybe impact thousands of kids' life and I'm just on that mission just now. With these sort of things I think I remember when I was at school for example if someone just came into school and spoke to you you would maybe shut off and I think the fact that I've maybe went on Love Island people are more inclined to listen to you um, and the fact that I was certainly when I was younger and I went to being where I am today, I think that the kids, hopefully, my goal is to look up to me and I think that I'll impact so many more kids than I ever did before. And like I said, I was impacting maybe hundreds of kids. The goal is now to impact thousands, if not more.